Greetings, programs. This is Wretch. Welcome back to Red Dead Redemption 2. And we're here at the camp, guys, and wanted to show you something. I remembered. We have got some horse meal, special horse reviver, special bitters, special snake oil, and special health cure. We've got three of each of those, which means we have the outlaw survival kit, which also means that we get our war horse. Now, um, fortunately, I found out that there's a specific point where you can get the war horse that has to be available at a particular moment, and that moment is right now, because we need to go ahead and talk to Hosea. We were right where we needed to be. So let's have a chat. Go hunting. Jose? You want to go hunting? What are you hunting? An elephant? <laughs> I wish. No. I saw a huge bear. One of the biggest I ever saw. I reckon nearly a thousand pounds. My God. But you need me to come with you. Of course. Let's go. Where are we heading exactly? Up near the Dakota River. Might take a day or two. I could do with a break from this place. Oh, me too. It's been a rough couple of weeks. You need anything? I don't think so. I got all I need. Let's go then. So you still ain't replaced Bodicea? Nah, I miss her. She was quite a horse. This one's okay, but ain't no Bodicea. I've been meaning to offload this big shire horse for a while now. Unruly bastard. Where'd you get him? Some big... Loudmouth bastard tried to rob me and was out riding, so I. Well, you know how it is. I see. Let's take him to Valentine. It's on the way, sort of. There's a decent dealer there. We'll unload him. You could buy yourself a new horse. Put your saddle on them. Let's get going. Okay. But I do kind of like this horse. There's nothing wrong with two horses. And the stables always have the best ones. Well, I guess you're right. Well, thank you, buddy, for your distinguished service, though. This is going to be fun, Arthur. You won't throw me? No, he's an angel, if I'm near him. Nasty little look in his eyes. Oh, don't be rude about this magnificent creature. Yeah, it's a big horse. Okay, see if you can get your leg over that brute. Okay, boy. Easy, big feller. All right, let's head into town. No bar fights, please. I heard about that. I'll do my best. I, I can't guarantee it. Might be gone a couple of days. Let's mouths to feed. Range a horse tack at the Valentine stables. Some beautiful saddles. I used to have a real nice one. Yeah, what happened to that? Got stolen outside that saloon in Deer Creek. Ah, oh, I remember now. Just about. <laughs> That turned into a long day. Yes. Remember? Mac went crazy. Threatened to kill the whole town. <laughs> and Davy was passed out so cold we left him there. Came back in the next day and he woke up, started right back drinking again. <laughs> <laughs> Slept through his hangover. Uh, I miss those boys. Jenny, too. She had some spot, that girl. It must be pretty hard on Lenny. You could tell he was sweet on her. Well, Lenny and Jenny could never have worked. That's like Arthur and Martha, or Bill and Phil. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe you're right. Does feel a bit like our luck died with them, too. Nonsense. We'll be all right. Just need some money to get back on our feet. I hope so. You find a way to offload those Cornwall bonds yet? Not yet. They're still very hot. Need to be done right. I have a couple of leads I'm looking into. Hosea seems to be kind of the conscience of the Don't camp. Don't let that big bastard get the better of you there, Arthur. Hey, he's all right. Get up there. Easy, biggin. Please don't throw me. Yeah, okay, the stables boy. are just up ahead. Who's got mouths to feed, huh? Give him one of these Your iron gray roan, our Dennis. Go sell I think that big brute. Buy yourself a horse. Okay. I, I think that to the general store. The Ardennis is the <laughs> is the war horse. He's got some mud on him now. Hey. How can I help you? 
I'm in the market for a new horse. Something strong and fast. Yeah, well, you're in the right place. I got some beauties in at the moment. <laughs> yeah. And what about this one here? Yeah, you looking to sell? I show sure, you. Yeah. You got papers? No. No papers. Well, of course, that's gonna affect what I can pay. But your luck's in. I got a fella who's been looking for a decent workhorse like this for a while. He'll pay a good price. Otherwise, I can always stable him here for you. Here, take a look. Let him do some shopping. Okay, so that's the Shire. And... Morgan for a $15. And what else we got? American Standard Bread. The Dutch Warm Blood. And the Ardennes. This is the War Horse, guys. Very different from uh, what we're used to. Type War. Iron Gray Roan. Gender Female. Oh, she's a female. Okay, so we need some ideas for female names, guys. So let's go ahead and buy, because she's free. Whoop. Oh, no. I have to aim her. Or I have to aim her. I have to name her right now? Um. I don't know if this is like a... Hmm. Okay, I've got an idea. Uh, Morgan seemed to have a, uh, a thing for... Rose... Oh, Rosemary. That's a good name. Yeah, let's call her Rosemary. That was the name of our... I was going to go for, like, Rosita or something like that, but... Oh, I don't know. Oh, this is going to bug me now. Um, hmm. I could push my horse. Rosalina. Is that... I'm not sure how that's actually spelled, but. Let's see. Rose. I'm going to have to check this one second, guys. We're going to make this work for us. Rosalina. Yeah, just Rosa Lena. And I see a lot of Smash Brother pages. Okay. Double checking just one more one more time to make sure. I, I hate getting stuff like this mess or messed up. Okay. So Rosa. Lena. And we'll see how that works. Tack and services and horse provisions. Saddles, saddlebags, horns. Equip a saddle horn, equip a blanket. Oh, we can go for all kinds of custom. That's neat. A Vaquero saddle? I like that one. We'll grab that one. Oh, it's for $51. Well, boo. That's a shame. We'll probably have to take care of that a little bit later. In the meantime, grooming for mane and tail. And services. Horse care package. Restores all cores and yields gold cores. We'll do that for... Oh, we can rename them too. Alright, so I kind of went for Rosalina just off the top of my head, guys. If you have any really good names for her, let me know in the comments. 
And horse provisions. Stimulant, peppermint, sugar cubes. Hay, dead eye core. What I'm looking for is horse reviver. There we go. And we can carry up to three. You guys let me know in the comments that that was important. So. And we'll get some horse medicine as well. Potent horse medicine. And I think we'll be good. All right, partner. You got yourself a deal. And a fine new horse. I hope so. Well, I don't sell anything other than good animals. You have my word on that. Going to have to start all over again. Here are your papers. And on me, a new grooming brush. And some treats. <laughs> Appreciate it. Yeah. All right, you. You treat this fella well. I know he's going to look after you just fine. Okay, hey, Rosalina. You got there? You happy? Guess we'll see. Go ahead and brush, feed, pat. You won't Go ahead. Know till you get in the saddle. Yeah, I I figured that. Appreciate it. Oh man, Rosalina's a big horse too. Hop on up there. Let's go. Alrighty. First things first. I'm gonna. Are you gonna mount that new horse of yours or not? Hey, we're getting acquainted. You hush. Feeding it some oat cakes. Easy, girl. Now we're good. All right, girl. All right, let's get going. We got quite a ride ahead of us. Lead the way. We got quite a horse to do that ride with. What's this lake we're heading for? It's called O'Cray's Run, up in the mountains east of Cumberland Falls. I just hope I can remember how to get there. Back into the mountains? I sure didn't figure on that. But this time, we're doing the chasing. So one so thing I need to... Oh. how are oh. things with you and John? Fine. Ain't it about time you let it go now? It was a year, Jose. He ditched us for a goddamn year. I've spoken to him many times. He knows he did wrong. He just wants to put it behind him. I'm sure he does. Running off on that kid is one thing, but there's code. He knows that. He ain't Trelawney. Dutch and you pretty much raised him. I know. But it's done. Has been for a while now. Nobody else would have been welcomed back that easy after that long. And you know it. Maybe. But please don't you put that to the test. Wonder what happened to cause John to leave for a year and abandon his family. Hopefully we'll find out, but that does explain why Arthur is so salty at him. I think we made the right call with Rosalina. Now, there is permadeath in this game for the horses. That's why the revives okay. are so important. I think we need to head right up here. Well, reservation. Oh, wow. It looks like the mountain that Kirk climbed in Star Trek V. I remember this place. Moonstone Pond. We're going El, the right way. El Capitan. Oh, this game. That's the lake there. Good. We made it. Let's loop around the other side. I should really be heading back over to Great Plains to see about Sean. It's bounty hunters who've got him? So Trelawney says. Javier and Charles have gone with him to scope it out. Pretty dangerous going anywhere near Blackwater. Right, but... 
If he's alive, we gotta try. Of course. Looks like we only asked like okay. one thing. Rabbits. Maybe we should catch one to cook. Sure. Try and shoot one. You don't want to use anything too powerful on a small animal like that. Just ruin the meat. Best thing's a bow or a 22 caliber varmint rifle. I have hunted rabbits before, you know. Yes. And obliterated them with a shotgun, if I remember right. Hunt a rabbit. Alrighty. Aim weapon. Oh! Well then. Not really what I was going for. Yeah, we are. So if I was a rabbit that wasn't scared away, where would I be? Having flashbacks to Kingdom Come Deliverance, it's not exactly a good thing. Oh, okay, looks like all the rabbits are over here. Whoop. Hunt a rabbit. Hi, how are you? <laughs> and skin. Yummy. I, I do want the corpse, though. That's a big rabbit. Let Hosea know that soup's on. And I guess we'll probably set up camp or some Good such. Job. All right. It's getting late. Reckon we should camp here. Sure. L1 to show the weapon we wheel. Set up. Are we setting camp up like right here on the side of the road? That's not wise, I would think. Actually, right here. Yeah, this is better. R1, switch to the item wheel. Select camp. And release. Where are they actually going to be setting up the camp? Ah. Uh, I'm famished. Cook that rabbit, then. They're delicious on an open fire like this. Fine by me. <gasps> View the crafting menu. Oh, Lord. Plain game. Recipe. Minty game. Oregano game. Thyme. Don't have enough ingredients. Alrighty. We can go ahead and cook. R2 to eat. I don't... I don't know you if I cook that. Us? No, I'm fine. I don't like eating this late. Okay. <laughs> After all that. We'll cook another, just so... Make sure that it gets properly. There we go. And I just heard a bear. All right. Well, we better get some rest. I want to be up at first light to find this monster. But he doesn't find us. Choose a time to sleep until... Morning, seven hours. And we don't have a choice. Alrighty. He better be worth all this drama. Seven hours, though. That's a, that's a good sleep. That's more than I normally get these days. Mark! 
Ron and Arthur. You ready? Oh, give me a minute. Coffee? Sure. There you go. So, what's your plan? Well, we'll see if we can track him, but we might need to lay bait to draw him out. Bears like fish, obviously, but they also have a sweet tooth. A lot of fellas bait then shoot from the trees, but I prefer to hunt on the ground. More dangerous. But we'll have a much better chance of getting a good shot in. And if he bolts, we can start right off after him. Can you mix up this bait for me while I finish packing this up? Fish, berries. I'll tie it up in that rag when you're done. I hope you know what you're talking about. I grew up in the mountains, Arthur. Potent predator bait. Gritty fish meat and blackberry. I was virtually weaned on bear meat. Just mix it okay. together. It's not too hard. I think I got this done. Good. Pack up and we'll get going. And exit crafting. Come on, grab your stuff. Yeah, always put dirt on your fire. Okay, let's go. Looks like Rosalina's I ready to go as well. The water. That's where I saw him last. Okay. How's that horse treating you? So far, so good. You know, I was in this area with Bessie years ago. Really? I didn't know that. I imagine you still miss her. Every day. Did you two ever think about getting out of the lot? Uh, we did briefly. You don't remember? Guess you were still young. Didn't last long. I drifted back into it. She understood. She knew what I was. I remember you not being around for a while, but well, things were looser back then. Truth is, there's never really any getting out. And staying in, it's hard. You know that. But Bessie and I made it work. Why? You thinking about getting out? Me? No, of course not. Listen, if Dutch's grand plans work, and we can make enough money to go someplace new, really new, maybe we can all have a new start. Anyway, for now, let's try and chase ourselves a bear, shall we? I thought... Let's slip by the water here, see if he's been fishing again recently. He was talking about his horse when we mentioned Bessie. <laughs> Look for tracks, dung, bones, any sign of him. You've entered legendary animal territory. Follow clues to track the animal. You can find legendary animals throughout the world. Okay, that looks like a clue. Good. Let's hope it's him. And... Can you tell which way he went? This way. Now, before we get any... Oh, we don't have our bow. Okay, well... Hopefully, we'll let Hosea take that shot. Because, if I remember Red Dead... Unless you have a lot of time to prepare, a six-shooter isn't going to do a whole lot against a bear. Refresh our tracking. This, the, the music is great and the sound. Just the, the ambient sounds of all the wildlife and... Ah, oh, so good. Oh, where'd you go? Next clue. Wait a minute. Something on the ground here. Half-eaten fish here. Must have been left by our friend, I reckon. Come on, see if there's anything else. Looks like the trail continues on this way. Hopefully nothing bad happens to Hosea. Which 
means that all the bad stuff will happen to me, but I can reload the game. Hosea, on the other hand... I just need to remember to keep on getting my rifle from, uh... Rosalina. Something else on the ground, just here. There's shit here. Watch your step. Looks real fresh. Reckon he's gotta be close. Let's keep going. Probably the most surefire clue we can have. Where'd he go? There, looking for the glow. Looks like the trail ends here. We lost him? For now. Uh, a little optimism, Arthur. Well, what do you think? I think we split up in each look. Either that or we could place bait here. That could work? Which do you think? Uh, use the bait. I don't want us to split up. Arthur? Let's bait here. Fine by me. Let's leave the bag over there. By those boulders up ahead, looks like a good spot for it. Place the bait near the large stones. Just splitting up is rarely ever a good thing. I think the only time that splitting up did any kind of thing that even was <laughs> that could even be construed as good was in Scooby Doo. And since we don't have a mystery machine. Or a dog. I think uh, splitting up would be a bad idea. Where's our bait? Okay. Now we wait. <laughs> and run. You forgot running, Hosea. That's important too. A thousand pounds, you say? More or less. Big scar down his face. Hey, did that bait look okay to you? I think so. You're the expert. Ready with your gun there? I'm good. You okay? You seem nervous. So do you. I'm fine. Yeah, my mighty cattleman revolver. Let's just take a look at that bait. Sure. Follow Hosea. Um... We only just said it, Jose. I know, but we need to do this right. Should have brought our rifle. Give me a hand here. Got your knife? Shit. <laughs> Hi. Easy. Not too close. Oh. That was... No. <laughs> Hi. You're fine, old man. Of course I'm fine. It's, it's nothing. It's nothing at all. <laughs> Thank you. I think. <laughs> that was fun. <sighs> you know what, Arthur Morgan? I'm a little old and beaten up to be after the biggest game. You can have this. What is it? It's a map. A man in a bar gave it to me. Well, I stole it from him, but that's another story. <laughs> he said it, it told him where to find some real big animals. Thank you. It's a pleasure. You saved my life, Arthur. <laughs> I think I'm going back to camp to lick my wounds. <laughs> you coming, or you gonna track that monster? Well... Um, you coming or not? Uh, you know I don't what? Mind either way. I'm gonna stick around <laughs> here for a while. <laughs> All right. I'll see you back at camp. Yeah. This isn't splitting up, so. Well, it is, but not in the mission way. Pursued by a bruised ego. Oh, we got some flowers here. What do we got? A 
Wild carrots. Hey there, buddy. It's all right, girl. Good girl. Here. More oat cakes. Now, oh, wait a minute. What I am going to do here is grab long arm shoulder, R2, carbine repeater. Yeah, that's what I need. Okay. I think we're in a better position to try and find our uh, quarry. We gotta show you. Reckon I got a ways to go. It's alright. We'll make it work. Because we can go ahead and just follow. Uh huh. This isn't gonna end well for us, is it? Probably not. Not far now. There he is. I see you. Stay there now. Okay. Whoop. Keep it. Huh. I don't know what's going on here. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> wow. All right, well, that happened about the way I expected it to go. I got Leonardo DiCaprioed. So I wasn't aware that there was a mini game to break out, and by the time I realized, it was too late. I lost my hat. Wait a minute. Where? Oh, it's first person mode. Where would that bear be? I assume the bear with the crown on its head may be a clue. I need to go get my hat back. These are important things. We're going to try one more time. I doubt those bullets have stuck. I would bet money. And that is actually north. We're going the wrong way. Ah. We know where he is. We just have to... Oh. Oh, more herbs. Guys, not blue the bear. We're gluttons for punishment, guys. I don't know if necessarily we need to track if we know where he's ha where he hangs out. So we'll see. He may actually change his location every time. Now, this is where all the horribleness happened. Where's my hat? At the end of the day now, that's all that really Arthur cares about is the location of his hat. Yeah, like this is... Oh. Okay, I am giving off an odor that's going that direction. Mm 
That is an elk. And no clues. Oh, never mind. Oh, that's... <laughs> that's where he went. And what is that up there? It looks like some sort of structure. It doesn't look like it. It is some sort of structure, but... What is this? Oh, it's a... Railroad tunnel. Huh. Well, this may be good to know for future reference. Alright. Let's go ahead and run downhill. Well, at least we got our horse. We got Rosalina. I do like that name, but if you guys have any better suggestions, I am willing to hear them. It's probably... Hopefully, uh, Rosalina will serve us better than Leroy did during our Red Dead playthrough. Our Red Dead 1. He was a good horse. He just had a tendency of traveling through the space-time continuum at the most inconvenient moments. I bet you that bear ate our hat. Hmm. Like, anytime I'm going to get into any kind of combat situation now, I have to have, like, complete hat awareness. Which is a shame. But. Alright. No worries. We'll just go ahead and move on because I believe we can buy hats in town too. Which is good. Come on. Your house is out of whistling. Or your house, your horse is out of whistling range. That. Ha that hat's probably staring at me right in the head. Or right in the... F <laughs> Never mind. I'm tired. <laughs> Continue to bond with your horse to increase the range at which it can be called. Now, are those all just herbs? So the tracking actually works on herb gathering, too. Which is nice. Violet Snowdrop. Yeah, so Bear got into a scrap. Bear decided to uh, move on. Can't say that I blame him. Should have went with Hosea. Huh? Who? Who that? Who there? Anyone help me? I don't know where you are, ma'am. I'm trapped. Please, someone, please. Ugh. Oh, hi. Oh, bless your heart. My legs all numb. Please hurry. Yep, on it. as hard as you can. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank sure. you, you saved me. Okay. Oh, that was bad. Sure. Oh, I could have been stuck here and starved or eaten. Oh, you poor, dumb animal. Oh. What'll I tell Mildred? Well, thank you. Take home? You need a ride home, ma'am? Oh. oh, yes, mister, please. Thank you. I live over in Annisburg. No problem. I have no idea how far that is. But it's kind of funny. We're going to assume that fate caused this to happen. If I didn't get eaten by a bear, I wouldn't have found her. I know, Rosalina's being girl. skittish. Come on. Now, hopefully you don't have anyone chasing after you. Guess we'll find out soon enough. See, it all works out in the end. If I had just killed that bear and rode off, I probably wouldn't have found her, and then she would have died. 
She's right inside saddle too. I don't normally what? travel this far alone, you know. Uh-huh. I was off inquiring about a possible new line of work. I I'd borrowed a friend's horse for the trip. See, my husband Well, it's just me and my boy now, and it's hard to find work. Hmm. I'm sure it is. A good opportunity. That's what I'm looking for. Not much work for a woman with a boy to raise. I won't work in no saloon, but I've got sharp eyes and quick hands. Really? I'm hoping to get a job working as a seamstress. A wealthy man said he'd pay me for the work. Sounds promising. Also doesn't sound real. Oh, you may be right, I suppose. He said he'd provide room and board for me and for my child. He wanted to meet me first. I'd be careful with offers like that, ma'am. I can't afford to dismiss offers like these, even if they do seem... odd. Just be careful is all I'm saying. I may not have another opportunity like this. And now I'll have to pay Mildred back for her horse. It sure sounds like you're in a hard position. You finding me... Is the only good thing that's happened to me in a long while, sir. Well, I got eaten by a bear. So, you're having a better day than I did. Just saying. And I'm not sure how much farther. I don't want to check the map. I kind of just want to enjoy the ambiance. Ooh, got a stagecoach. Howdy. Yeah. One thing I do like about Arthur's... I love Arthur's accent. It seems so, like, legitimately Old West. Nope, oh, easy there. Don't be that guy. Uh, there we go. Unless anything randomly comes to kill us, we should be in good shape. If you have to shoot something, <laughs> if I get robbed, please either shoot me or shoot the lady. Please do not shoot the horse. Got my priorities in the right spot, I'd like to think. Oh, wow, look at that. Dust storm. We're close now. Just a little further. Oh, we got another town. Ansburg, Roanoke Ridge, 10.48 a.m. I just heard Steve Bloom <laughs> doing a voice. Excuse me. Injured lady, coming through. Oh, it's a logging town. Interesting. Place of Syria of uh, of industry. She got a house out here on the outskirts, maybe. Hopefully, I don't get hit by a train. I probably need to look both ways before I commit to that kind of course of action. Good lord, look at this place. We're here. Thank you for all your help. You're a good man. Glad I was able to help. You take care. Appreciate it. You be well. Aw, oh, she didn't have to pay to do that. Thank you, though. Good times. Extra, extra. Come and get it. Well, let's uh, look at the map here and see... We have got a newspaper, a gunsmith, a stagecoach, and a post office. And we are way off the beaten track. Are there any other like places to places of business here? Or is it just these mining and coal company? Oh, okay, it's more it's a mining town. Listen to me. Listen to me. Sir, madam. Gather round, gather round. I make no bones for my testament. 
For my testament is science and science is... Got come in a Scottish accent there. Okay, guys. Well, I'll tell you what we're going to do. I think we're going to go ahead and... Um, Oh man, uh, he does not look in good shape, does Arthur. Are you tired or what? Can we, I wish we could, can we just see his stats like right all the time? I'd really appreciate that. But I think we're going to go ahead and end the episode here, guys, and we will pick it up back next time. Why is the water red? Ugh. Or just might be just really deep red brown. But if you guys liked the episode, please leave a like down below, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, that'd be a big help, and we'll see you next time. Later days, everyone.